Hi, it's Greg from Curry Country Living. Last week of April, Tracy and I had the opportunity to travel out west to do some visiting with relatives, but the main purpose of the trip was to attend the Comic-Con, the Calgary Expo Comic-Con that's held each year in Calgary. We were out there to give our oldest son, Justin, who has his own business called Chasing Artwork, help at the con. It's one of the largest Comic-Cons in, in Canada. It's a very busy con, and you're going to meet a lot of the people that Justin has surrounded himself with. Uh, I, I affectionately call them the Comic-Con family. I ran into these people in different places from Halifax to... Um, to Montreal, to Niagara Falls, and uh, Winnipeg. A majority of them are from Winnipeg, but they are from out west in Calgary. And uh, what you're going to see in this video is right from the very beginning to the very end, the nuts and bolts of a Comic-Con. And I'm going to be talking to a lot of the artists out there, and they're going to have some advice. If you have some people in your in your life that are maybe considering becoming artists or are struggling or looking for taking some of the pain out of it as, as, as GM Kamichuk says um, people were greedy with giving them advice when when they got into it and this group isn't greedy they'll tell you exactly what it is whether you want to hear it or not if you haven't done so already consider subscribing to Curry Country Living YouTube channel leaving some comments at the comment section below and we'll talk to you at the end something different Tracy and I are headed out to Calgary this is Monday and uh, Justin has a show in Calgary on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And right now we're going up 34 Highway, which has highway restrictions. And I think we're over because I don't know how many pounds of paper and product that we have for Justin, but we're taking it out for him. He's uh, traveling out later in the week. So you're going to see our trip to Calgary, visiting some friends, some relatives, and the Calgary Comic Con. So stay tuned, lots happening. Welcome to Curry Country Living, and right now we're in Calgary, Alberta, with a fellow Curry, Justin Curry, who uh, operates Chasing Artwork. Just so happens to be Tracy and I's uh, oldest son. Tell us about the Calgary Comic Con. Yeah, so I've been doing the Calgary Comic Con since 2009, I think, and it's one of the biggest shows in Canada, and it's also drivable from Winnipeg. It's about a 13-hour drive, which means we can bring more books and bigger pieces. Um, than usual. So my booth is quite a bit bigger than usual because I can drive and bring lots of stuff. So it's always been a really, really big show for me. Um, and we brought out our vehicle as well so that yeah. we could work it into a family trip with um, uh, visiting with cousins and stuff. And I, I, I don't think I'd be exaggerating if I said I had a thousand pounds worth of stuff in my car and you probably had about the same. Uh, maybe a little bit less. You guys took, I think, the bulk, and then I kept all the big, lighter stuff. But, yeah, it was a lot of stuff, and then I shipped stuff here as well. So it's a, it's a big production, but I'm, I'm going to Saskatoon after this, so I needed enough stuff for both shows. And then I'm coming back to Calgary in May for another show, so I'm hoping to leave a bunch of stuff with a friend of mine uh, in Calgary. So I have, like, three shows worth of stuff, which is great, because if this show is beyond expectations, we'll be well-stocked. This is April 2023. We are here in Calgary at the Calgary Comic Con. We just carried in a thousand pounds of art of Justin's and we are now waiting for Justin to arrive to um, set up and, and design his tables and it's going to be an awesome con. Okay, so... Let me take a shot inside. Your SUV looks later. This is back to the limit. So that one doesn't have anything on it. I'm hoping... So yeah, those, that's my um, custom frame paper pair. So oh yeah. And Justin and Greg just got here, Greg Kamicha, and uh, they're just token, taking one trolley in of uh, supplies. And they'll be back shortly for the next load of heavy art supplies. So we've had two full SUVs. Two full SUVs. Here comes Greg now. You guys must have been a little overloaded. What's that? A little heavy on the uh, SUV going through some of those <laughs> restricted highways. Big. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Actually, you know what? Yes. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, Dad's not, he doesn't love it quite as much as I do. 
<laughs> I hate friggin' city driving. I just absolutely friggin' hate it. So we just friggin' made it all the way downtown Calgary and about to make an easy turn in. And what goes by but the C train? The C train. We did a six lane U turn just before we got here. Wow. So it was nice. Did yeah. you come in on the McLeod or the Deer foot? Uh, we were on Deer foot. Yeah. Actually, we were told the, to stay off of it because of construction. A thing I thought could never happen happened on the drive. Did they let you in? Well, yeah. Ah. Calgary drivers <laughs> let us cross, just do a big U turn, like in a big, and people waved and smiled. So there's been a change in this city, and I appreciate it. <laughs> so. <laughs> right. Okay, so Justin, first oh. first annoying sound bite. Uh, Where no, are we? It's all good. We, Greg and I, just caught up to you guys after the drive. We listened to Stephen King's um, Zap, uh, what's it called? Salem's Lot. Okay. On the drive, we made it here. We immediately found a cart to load things in, which is great. Um, yeah, everything's good. All right. You got enough winds for your sails. <laughs> I see the excitement in the show. Tell me about your setup here. Like I've gone around and taken some shots of different stuff, but what uh, you've got some new pieces here. You've got some old pieces. What what's gonna and you, and it's hard to tell what's gonna sell, but you never know. You never know what's gonna sell. But there's a lot of new stuff and uh, a lot of bigger format stuff that I usually can't bring around because we drive. Um, and lots of books and uh, yeah, it's uh, we'll see what happens. So right now, something I haven't seen, Trace and I haven't been to a con for a while, and of course we've just got through the event mm -hmm. um, where you're starting to get out more and often, but you've got some new stuff here, and the pins are something that's uh, different. Yeah, the enamel pins are something I've been wanting to try for a while, and I pulled the trigger on a couple last year, and they did really well, so now I have seven, 13 designs, um, and it's kind of, yeah, it's a, it's a little trinkety item, not as quite, you know, not something you put on your wall, now something you put on your clothing and something to experiment with, and uh, it worked out really well. So this is the first time um, these five uh, robot pins are gonna be for sale in person. Uh, and you traveled out with uh, GM uh, B. Kamichuk, yeah. who's got a booth, and we're going to go over and talk to him. But you guys have kind of a neat ritual when you're coming out when uh, driving out. Uh, you both drive both ways, yeah. but um, you usually listen to stories. Tell me about the drive out. You guys are still talking to each other by the time you get here? Yes, we uh, we usually listen to an audio book by Stephen King. So this year's was uh, Salem's Lot, and uh, we you know we take off pretty early. So somebody will sleep, somebody will drive, and we kind of shift back and forth. So usually the guy who is driving driving, it's his job to update the person who is sleeping on what's happened in the book when they wake up. So tell me about the some of the banners and stuff. You're always changing your banners and whatnot. So talk to me about all the banners and the lights on the end. So since 2009, I've been trying, usually you can only get two tables, but I've been doing this show for a long time and I've uh, been extra nice to the exhibitor uh, people. So I've been able to get four tables, which is not something that commonly happens. So I was able to bring out more banners and light up pillars as well to make my display especially exciting. Yeah. Ah, so. Good to go. Because we can drive to Calgary, it's one of the only times I wanted to risk bringing a custom frame piece. So I custom framed one of my paper tools. Um, then because it's so fragile, we were able to drive and bring it. Hopefully we can move it to the show. And I really hope it moves because I do not want to ship it or fly with it ever. So. 
And then for my books, I have my latest art book, which has kind of everything all at once. My last graphic novel, which is Dragon Nanny. And then a, um, a young adult uh, fantasy, Gear and Sea, uh, which I wrote with uh, Claire C. Marshall, who's here as well. Awesome. Uh, hi, my name is Claire C. Marshall, and I'm the author publisher of Fairy Ink Press. Um, I know Justin Curry, aka Chasing Artwork. Um, I actually can't even remember the first time that we met, but uh, I'm, I just I just love going to Winnipeg and hanging out with all of those people. They're so fun and so creative. Um, we actually did a book together called Gear and Sea. Well, tell me about yeah, yeah. Tell me about the Gear and Sea. Please. Yeah, so Gear and Sea is I like to describe it as Peter Pan meets Iron Giant. Kind of a bunch of kids on a boat and there are uh, it's a world full of bad robots and they find a friendly robot and they befriend them and they fight against the bad robots but something is happening with their ship it's slowing down and there's no one to take care of it so it's it's about friendship it's about growing up and yeah yeah it's just a really sweet story yeah yeah i'm so i'm just so appreciative to have met justin and my best friend sam also yes. from winnipeg um, we met in a publishing program and as she put it last night she's my platonic life partner we're just we're just like the same and yeah it's 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 very rare i think to meet people who just get you on a very fundamental level and i'm just i feel very blessed to have done that yeah. Hello, this is me. Yes. I'm Sam. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> okay. uh, well, I write young adult fantasy novels to start. Um, I write series fiction, um, stories about kids coming of age with magic and monsters and powers, and I just love doing it. I also create comics and I edit comic anthologies, and I've been working in the publishing industry for 10 and 13 years. So it's been a lot of fun, and I really love coming to these conventions and meeting new people. So it's always really great to come to these and you get to see people that you never get to see like in your day-to-day -day. and it's like you just pick up where you left off at the last con and it's just so great to see everyone grow too in their artistic practice. It's so neat to see um, you know when you interact with them like four years ago and then you come back and their booth is enormous and you know people are swarming them and you're like yes I am so super pumped for everyone to be successful and that's that's also the really cool aspect of the family is that we all get to build each other up and we get to be a part of that like high tide raises all boats and it's just the best feeling um, I grew up with the oh you can't be an artist because you'll starve um, which isn't true it's patently untrue uh, but coming to conventions kind of give you the opportunity to pursue your dreams which is why I love them so much and I also love visiting with people and telling them how they can do it too Yes. So I'll come to a convention and I'll send them an email myself or sometimes they'll email me and I'll say, hey, I've got a new book coming out and I can speak on all of these different topics from my many years of experience and they'll put me on programming, which is usually panels uh, that take place while the convention is happening and I sit with other professionals and other industry folks and we'll chat about like comic writing and story development and world building and working on a team for comics and hiring artists and it's really great because it just gives attendees a way to see how the sausage is made and kind of take away that mystical element so they can feel like it's more accessible to them if they have those dreams um, and I just love giving out that kind of advice because it was really tough for me to get that information when I was coming up and I just kind of want people to skip through the suffering stage as much as, much as possible um, so yeah when you're a guest you get a table over here and guest Sally, um, it's comped for you um, in exchange for you doing programming and you know visiting with folks. Um, but I love doing it, and I just love right. giving my expertise. How many years have you been coming up to this con? Ooh, uh, that is a good question. I think ten. Yeah, this convention has the distinction of being the very first convention when I was first starting out with my first book where I had a lineup of people for the first time. It was like the first time to experience that a thing I had made, worried about, wondered about, will anyone care, no, or even look at it, became a thing where like a crowd of people stayed and asked questions and wanted more. And so it, this show has a very distinct uh, place in my creative 
identity, honestly. Tom, like you do a wide range of stuff, but if you had to put it down into one sentence, how would you describe your the work that you do that you're doing? I often describe my body of work as a Venn diagram where 30s pulps, 40s propaganda, and 60s style guides overlap. Give a plug for uh, the kind of, uh, for a lot of people that are wondering how to get into cons or how to, how this all works. You guys talk about this a lot amongst yourselves, but you also have a podcast. Talk about that podcast. Yeah, we have a podcast called Super Pulp Science. Um, I think I'm probably repping it. There we go. It's like a secret. It's like an Illuminati pin. It's underneath, right? Super Pulp yeah. Science. Um, when Justin and I were first starting out, we were very frustrated by the fact that you couldn't get a straight answer from anybody about where they got things printed or how they got things shipped or how much shows were, or how you got in or where you find your editors. It, like, you know, people were quite greedy about that kind of information. And so as soon as we kind of broke in, we started Super Pulp Science as a way to share everything that we wished we had been told coming in. So we dish all the secrets, you know, how, where the margins are, why they're that way, and when it starts to change. We try to let people know ahead of time when we find out. And then also um, the important steps that go into just making a piece of genre work and getting it to people. So this is Saturday. Looking forward to a great day today. Thanks. And, uh, Thanks for being one of the my favorite three Gregories. Yeah. Uh, you know, but it's a burden. You're up to, you know what? Do you know this, Tom? Look at this. If you stand, if we all stand close together, there are three Gregories. Really? Yeah. Gregory. Gregory Allen. Gregory. Gregory. Yeah. Justin. Justin second. Yeah, and Gregory. You know. yeah. yeah. How often does that happen? When we went to the airport that time, and the <laughs> lady looked at us like, "Is this a trick?" It's just like Gregory, Gregory, Gregory. Hi, I'm Ron Guyet, and this is my wife and partner, Indy Guyet. Indy Guyet. Uh, yeah, we've been doing Calgary for a bazillion years now. Before time, dinosaurs used to be here, uh, but I think it's this is actually our tenth uh, anniversary from the first uh, time. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, we are from Toronto, originally from the Peterborough area. But yes. Tell me about your artwork. What you have? Here. Ooh got a little bit of everything. It's all personal interest mostly. Uh, it's uh, a little bit of space, a little bit of fantasy, uh, some sci-fi, witchy <laughs> vibes. Uh, it's a combo of both of us. I'm the art deco, she's the art nouveau. So, so you work well <laughs> together. I think, and I, did you ever think you'd be able to make a living at art like this or what? Oh God, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we are, and it's it's going well. We're really happy with it. It's it's great to not have to do the part-time jobs or any part of the real normal rat race in a way. But uh, uh, yeah, creative freedom. I, I think after we finished college, we both realized that we really didn't want to work for a larger company or a advertising you know studio or something like that. So that we uh, went to Fan Expo and. In downtown Toronto during the summertime, we bumped into Justin Curry of Chasing Artwork, and uh, he had told us about how he had seen our stuff online, and we had seen his online, and and he kind of told us about the shows a little bit, and we got into it actually because of him again. Well, how would you describe your art in one sentence? Well, I know I had a sentence for it at one point, but <laughs> yeah, any thoughts on that? Spooky fun. Spooky fun. Spooky, Spooky fun. fun. There is you know, you can ask a lot of questions to the community and stuff. Most people are pretty open about sharing stuff. Uh, if you can take any kind of course, even for a semester, that gives you a little bit of tax uh, <laughs> <laughs> insight, That's very helpful. it's very helpful. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it definitely allowed us to not worry and kind of move forward with things. But uh, uh, the community first, I would say, I try to try yeah. to talk to them. Yeah. One. So we're still at the Calgary Comic Con, and right now I just met a couple of gentlemen last night that I thought were not letting me into the room for beer. But long story short is that you guys know Justin, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Stephen Call, and I'm Lyndon Ruchenka. I have here, Lyndon. Uh, we are graphic novelists, so I'm a writer and comics letterer. Stephen is an illustrator, and we sell the graphic novels and comics that we ourselves have produced. 
So how do you two know each other? Uh, we used to bartend together at a, at a, at a restaurant in our city and uh, started from there, met from there. It was awesome. Uh, we went to comic cons together and decided to make comics together after that. Yeah. So are your backgrounds like, um, so bartending to um, uh, designers and comics, how does that work? Ooh, well, bartenders are the storytellers of the world, as we all know. <laughs> and uh, they're also the listeners of the world, so we are really just stealing everyone else's ideas. But uh, I was a going through university at the time that I was bartending uh, with an arts degree in English as a writer. Stephen had his fine arts degree. And uh, you find when you're working together that you often have a lot of time to talk about things. And it really came down to, well, we have complementary skill sets. It would sure be nice if we could work on something together. I would agree, and, and on that bartending thing, I mean, crafting drinks is much like painting a picture. I think Leonardo da Vinci, uh, in fact, was a bartender, was he not? And uh, no, I'm, I'm full of it, he's not. Um, <laughs> but uh, that translated really well to making comics, and we did well. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you guys for um, taking the time to talk to me, and I'll get all your information and link it in the description below if people want to get a hold of you. Like, I do have, like, almost 500 people that follow wow. me. Wow, so, like, oh, you yeah. know, so that's, that's awesome. You that's might, more than us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks very much. Thank you yeah. so much. Expo exhibitors, Expo exhibitors, the show floor will be opening in 10 minutes for priority ticket holders. Please make sure the aisles in front of your booth are clear. Okay. Um, so uh, there's a box on the floor and we're about to open. Can we uh, get that cleaned up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> PM. Have a great show. Wow. Happy um, this is... Oh. This, this is April. 2023 Calgary Comic Con this is Saturday which traditionally is one of the busiest days so we're Justin's got everything prepared we've had an awesome Thursday Friday and just prepared for Saturday now so it's gonna be a great day for all the vendors Okay, so the Calgary Comic Con, we just finished, we're just done, any comments? It was good. It was a great show. I think we're mentally and physically exhausted. So. Uh, exhausted would be a word, Mom? Yeah, yeah. Four day show, awesome show. And now we're just going to help Justin take down so that he can prepare for the next show and he'll be back for next year. Well, I think, think you're loading to go where? We're going to Saskatoon and we're all going for supper at one of my favorite places in Calgary called Ten Foot Henry. So Ooh. you'll have to do a review after. Tell me what you guys think. Four day 
day show, driving all the way out here, a full day of setup and stuff, Greg Kamichuk still manages to swim on a trolley full of artwork to the cleanup. And so that's a great attitude and a very uplifting attitude. Because some of us don't have that freaking attitude. We need <laughs> beer to keep us calm, cool, and collected. what Greg's doing now. Long weekend. Mm. A very good weekend though. I know it seems like a pain in the ass, but it was a good weekend. Sask Saskatoon, is that right? Just the detritus of an artist's attempt to make a living. That's all that's left here. Yes. But a sign of a good con is that you got a lot less than you came with. A lot of empty boxes, yes. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Of uh, a good con is that you're not going home with near as much as you started off with. Yeah, look, two empty boxes. Well, and a bag. And the bag. Uh, and, and, and yeah, and, and a bag, bag is bag. empty. Yeah. yeah. But now you're headed off to Saskatoon eventually. That's yeah. Right. right on. Where's this going? All right, here's what I think. This is what I think should happen. You tell me if this is crazy. I think you and I should carry the chairs. I think you, the ex most experienced truck person of us all, should go with Lyndon because he's nervous about the truck getting down underneath. I was just getting back to the parking spot, some real tight corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, experience. The we'll cover. put experience at the helm. I, I can't help you out with that. That's fine. Yeah. I he think that's what we should Crimes. do. They Greg are Crimes. They are semi-trucks. So. Right? Yeah. Does this make right? any sense? <laughs> Chasing Greg work. I also get the sense that there's some truck in the <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure what's happening here, but I, I think we're leaving now. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, oh, good, he says. <laughs> Yeah, just. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Out of I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He's cosplaying as a chair. I'm cosplaying as Gregory. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I make pictures. <laughs> I'm Gregory. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching that video. It was a fairly long one, but if you enjoyed it, please consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions for any of those people that I interviewed on the video, find their uh, links in the description below. As always, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time.